Hey, someone asked me about creating logos in mid-journey, so here's a quick video on how to do that. Normally, um, you could upload an image, maybe you've seen a type of logo and you want to use that as inspiration. So you would go over here and then you would drop in uh, the URL for that image after you've uploaded it to Midjourney. Another way to do it is you could just write your text. So I could maybe write something like a uh, green and grey logo and something like that. I'm going to jump straight away to one that I've already done in preparation. I had Imagine Prompt and I wrote Velociraptor Logo Style of Kengo Kuma. Now Kengo Kuma, I found the name on online. It's a style of art. I guess I've said style of a particular artist and I've said green and grey, no background. Now the no background one is a little bit hit and miss someone but, it, but it's hyphen hyphen, no background. In fact I didn't really add anything else. I didn't even add AR or version 4 or anything like that. Let me now show you what this gave me. I don't know about you but don't they look really really cool and all I did was put in the word logo but then no background and the word style of Kengo Kuma did make a big difference I think to the way that was portrayed. Let's go and have a go with another style. So I'm actually going to take my wording that I've got over here. So we'll go with imagine prompt. Okay we're going to paste that in. This time I'm going to remove the word uh, logo uh, style of Kengo Kuma. Let's pop in the word line before the word logo and before we get to uh, background, in fact no after the word logo I'm going to add in a vector like that. Let's see what we get there because I'm hoping I'm going to get like a line effect rather than the more filled out. So let's go with that. And while that is generating, I'm going to pop in another one. Japanese design style with a comma again. And again, let's just activate that one. And the last one we're going to go for is imagine prompt and I'm going to paste in my words and I'm now going to say royal elm m emblem. So royal M emblem of a velociraptor, green and grey, no background like that. Okay. And again, we're going to hit that. So now I'm now going to show you the results and the prompts for all of these will be in the video description below. Okay. So you can go away and play with it. Here was the original green and grey velociraptor logo in the style of a particular artist. Here's the one now, which is more of a vector line. And if you look at the differences between them, you can see that it is more of a vector effect. I have to say, though, um, it, 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 they look more like, like a, they, you know, I feel like it's slightly lost the effect of what I was going for. I do really like this one. This one's really cool, you got to admit, right? Um, one of the things, though, about Mid Journey that you are going to have to understand, though, is that it does start to stick loads of words in. You can put hyphen, hyphen, uh, no text, so there is no text on your image. And if you're trying to incorporate text, Mid Journey is not great at that, so you might need to use Photoshop for that later on. But this was the line um, vector one. Here's the one now with the Japanese design style, and you can see it's um, it's got a slightly more mangary anime kind of style going on there. Um, this one not so much, but definitely these two here. Here's the one with the royal emblem. I can't say the word right, emblem, right? And you get this nice, like, I mean, look look at the way it's done that. It has completely disrespected my wording of no background over here. But here, you do get some nice logos, and these are now made for you to pop your words on. And the final one I did, which I didn't show you, but I'm going to um, tell you now, is I did basically the same as what I've done here, but I now said in the style of Escher, quite famous artist if you don't know who Escher is, and Escher was quite well known for his kind of like infinite kind of staircases and design work, and you can see here, you got that, you know the overlap effect here, can you see that? That's very much Eshery, in my opinion, in the way it's been created. So here's another way of how you can start to design logos. Now I have not gone through every single prompt. I have a play and there's another URL as well in the video which relates to the page that helped to inspire me with the prompts and ideas for this because it's not all come off me. I was looking at what they've done as well. Go and have a read of that. Um, but play around with it. It does take a lot of trial and error. And of course, remember, if you find a particular image you like, like this one over here, what you would then do is maybe create further variations or upscale it and then do a variation of that particular one. And, you know, remember, hyphen, hyphen, no text if you want to remove any of the wording that you see here, for instance. Hey, I'm Imran. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit Do it right, play the game, win it life Have no shame, there's no time Feel the pain, with the grind I could change, in my mind Pick a lane, commit and climb The only way, to win it life I never miss that fact Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag